Hello there guys and welcome to a very special video today. Today's video is all about trying American sweets. We have the likes of Laffy Taffy's, we have Dum Dums, we have Nerds, we have Swedish Fish, which says Swedish, but it's an American based product. We have Hershey's chocolate um, and a hell of a lot more in the video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You're going to see an English person try out some American candies and I'll be telling you what exactly they are and also what my rating out of 10 will be so without further ado i'll see you all in the video peace yo guys what is going on it's your boy mr Rami. today as i said the intro is a very special we're going to be trying some American candy now. Back in Christmas, my sister brought me this box, as you can see by the thumbnail. Basically, inside this box, assortment of American candy or sweets, right? So, within here, we have stuff like, and they will appear on the screen, we have Airheads, um, we have Warheads, Jolly Ranchers, Tootsie Rolls, Laffy Taffy. Guys can't see very well. There you go. That's kind of what you're expecting here, look. So you got your airheads, your warheads, your dum dums, your tutti roll, your laffy taffy, the big long one, um, jolly ranch and all stuff like that. So we're going to be trying them as we go along. So we've also got some special ones as well. We've got ignore the green screen. Mike and Ike. Now the reason it's like that is it's not a special packaging. It is more to the fact that. Well, the box is green, so it goes green to you. We also have double bubble, and these are all going to be either here or up there, so you can see it clearly. Some Swedish fish, nerds, also lemon heads. We're going to start with the box first, and again, I'm going to be giving these a rating out of 10 for what I think. With the Mike and Ikes, there is these five flavours here. Orange, lime, strawberry, lemon, and cherry. We'll be trying all those out as well. Um, so I'm going to pick one out as well. But we're going to start with... I'll be honest, I'm nervous. I look at these and go, I think I'm going to like them, but I'm not sure if I am going to like them. You know, it's, it's one of those where I'm like, I'm just not too sure. Um, so... I think first we're going to go for the Dum Dum, right? Again, it'll be up here or up here, round two when I get round to editing it. So first we're going to try the Dum Dum. It's a, it's a lolly. Um, and what I'm going to do is, whilst we're here, I'm going to also um, pull up what they are. So we have a bit of a description for it. So, Dum Dum Lollipop. From what I can tell, it's just a normal... Um, Cotton candy lolly, really. That's really all it is to it. So, without further ado, let's try it and see what it's about. So, I'm going to say it's a lolly. It's not something I can really chum, but I got a taste. The cotton candy is very nice, actually. Hmm. I've got to say, that's a very tasty lolly. Um, I will probably be finishing this after we've tasted all these. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna give that a 9 out of 10. It's a very tasty lolly. It's small, don't get me wrong. But it's a very tasty lolly, regardless. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Very nice flavour. So that's number one, dum dum. Number two, we'll open the packet back up. Now, I have got three types of airheads the white mystery, the strawberry, and also the watermelon. So we're going to get through these, and I'm going to go watermelon first. So again, up here or up over there somewhere, it's going to say airheads watermelon. Because the green screen's fucking up, so use the language. Um, but basically, the green screen is going to mess with the colours. So um, I'm going to put a full, like, solid image here so you can see what it is. So number two, airheads watermelon. So again, we're going to do the usual shabam, and I'm going to go in and go for airheads, 
watermelon. So Airheads Marla is a one speed green and mouth watering tasty something. It doesn't tell me. It literally um about this item, tasty watermelon flavoured candy, good taste, original flavour, idea for snacking on the go. So we'll see, won't we? We will see if this is what it says it is. So I can actually open it now. Right. First of all, you guys can't see this. So again, I'll probably leave an image up after. Look, it looks like I'm not even holding anything like that's the top of it a lot. This is very this is green dog, and again, there's gonna be an image right here. I'm gonna show you what this looks like, but for now. Ah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very skeptical, um, because it was watermelon and pork. That's gorgeous. That is, I want to move to America. Put it that way. I, I, that's that's gorgeous. So the Airheads Warman, 8.5 out of 10. So, I will probably be finishing these all off after. Anyway. So we move on to the Airheads Strawberry. Which is going to again be up here somewhere. We all know it is. It's a strawberry flavoured. It's a candy, right? So we'll try this one. Now the Warman's very nice. I think it's going to be hard to top. So what I will do again, as usual, is... I will show you exactly what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Choose a green screen, obviously, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. The watermelon's definitely got a bit more flavour to it, and I think I enjoy the watermelon more. But the strawberry one, still very nice. I'd give it a 7.5. Um, again, ratings will be over here, and the product will probably be here. Just so it's easy for you guys to know. Um, but yeah, 7.5. Again, it's tasty, don't get me wrong, but the watermelon just gives more flavour, and I think I would buy the watermelon. Now, for the final airheads, it's the white mystery. Now, of course... Who knows what flavour this is? It's the white mystery. Um, so again, we'll we'll give it a go. I'm scared for this one because I'm not good with surprise or mystery for two. So again, I'll open it back up. And as you can see, it is pure white. Like again, excuse the camera because it's white, but it looks like. Also, I do love this border. Right, you ready? So, taste. Hmm. It is actually a mystery. I can't pick out what flavour this is. Um, it's a little bit sour, a little bit. It's tasty, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure. I can't quite pick out. I'm going to have to give this one a six. Um, just because I can't pick out the flavour. Again, it's supposed to be a mystery, but I just think the watermelon is a lot tastier. And I, I definitely choose the watermelon over everything else. All right. Now I'm going to move on to big ol' Laffy Taffy, right, so again it'll be here, this is Laffy Taffy Cherry, right, and there's supposed to be a joke on every wrapper, I'm going to have a look at this joke, if, um, what three letters hold a lot of data, USB, we've got a second one, don't you worry, what type of fly loves bread? A butterfly. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Right, Laffy Taffy time. So, again, when I can get into this, because this is actually quite tough. Again, I want to shout out my sister for getting me all the sweets from America. She obviously went on somewhere. Like, she wants to export them. I don't know what she did, but definitely did something. 
and thank you sis for getting me all these items because i'm gonna lie they've all been very tasty right and we're in i think if i can't get into the last bit of it right laffy taffy straight away is a one because i can't get into the wrapper all right i think i'm somewhere though right as you can see it's here Try a bit I'm gonna be honest. I can definitely eat the whole bar, you know, definitely. But there's just not a lot of flavour. See, I can definitely taste a bit of cherry. There's not a lot of flavour. I feel like I'll just be able to munch through it and done. It's very soft, but it's stuck to the wrapper, and I can't undo it, which is slightly annoying. But and I'd give it a seven. It's decent. It's tasty. Um, again, it's better than white mystery because I just can't pinpoint the white mystery. Next up. We're gonna leave the warheads till last because as we know the warheads are extremely sour so i don't quite fancy doing that just yet so we're gonna go for a tootsie roll again we'll be here so a tootsie roll very easy to open and um, it looks like that for you guys that can't see that's what it looks like A few moments later. <clears throat> right, and it took me a while to eat, don't get me wrong. But it was nice chocolatey flavour, it was really nice. Um a bit chewy and it was hard to get through, but it was very enjoyable. Uh, I'd have to give that a nine. The Tootsie roll gets a nine. Right, we move on again. So I'm gonna try a fruit is fruit punch sweet so this is what the sweet again you'll see it here but that's what it looks like it's a little small thing um and we're gonna go for a fruit punch sweet look that's what it looks like Yeah, I'm a fan of that. The Tootsie Roll Fruit Punch is by far one of my favourites. 9.5 is very high. It's one of my favourites. A little sweet, no one. The taste, this is very mad. This is all based on taste. That's gorgeous. That's lovely. Um, So we've got a couple left in this box, and then we move on to the others. So we've got um, Fruity's Grape, Fruity's Mango. Fruity's Raspberry, again these are all going to pop here, here, here and here. And lastly, Fruity's Lemon and Lime. I'm not going to eat these on camera, I'm going to quickly have them. And when I come back, um, I'll let you know what I think of each one. So until then, I'll see you in a second. Many, many minutes later. Welcome back. So, tasted all of them. The Mango is an 8. The Grape is a 7.5. The lemon and lime actually was at 8.5. That was very enjoyable. But the blue raspberry is a 9. The blue raspberry, putsy roll, 9. Bloody lovely. Right. So, that box is now done. As you can see, there's only really replicas of what's left. Like I say, putsy roll. We are going to take this one out, though. Um, Yeah, this one. Jolly Rancher. Have it towards the end. It's a bit of a harder one, so we'll leave it towards the end. So, all the stuff in there is basically just repeats of what we already had. So that's the box done. Now, we move on to the others. So, we have, we have, again, Mike and Ike, Swedish Fish, Nerds, Double Bobble, and Lemon Head. So we'll start with a Lemon Head. These, again, what they look like, you'll see just above here. That's what they look like, so I'll open them. Then we're going to finish off with the Sour Warheads. I'm not looking forward to it, just not. Right. 
So, gonna grab a couple. Lemon heads literally look like that. You can't really see because of the fingers. Again, I'll pop them up here. They look like that. They look like just balls. Country balls. Okay, so lemon heads are lemony, is the best way to put it. They are nice, don't get me wrong. Big country. I was expecting soft, if I'm honest, when I held them. Um, but the lemon heads, taste-wise, probably going to get a 7. They are nice. Um, but I probably wouldn't eat these. Yeah, that's nasty. Right, next one. So, we have. We'll leave double bubble for now. Um, what's we'll switch it? We're gonna have a Swedish fish. All right. So again, that's what you're gonna see. Swedish fish. This also means I've got a hell of a lot added too because I edit my videos. Well, I'm starting to now, at least anyway. So we have a Swedish fish. Um, the packet literally looks like that. So. Without further ado, let's open the packet and try fish. I'm gonna try a bit. There's my little fishy. Okay, there's no taste to them. I, I, I'm not a fan of that texture kind of stuff. It's why in the Haribos, do you know your eggs that you get with like the weird white stuff? I wouldn't eat them, don't like it. They're not bad. There's not a lot of taste. They're five. They're probably the worst so far. I kind of expected them to be. But yeah, so the Swedish fish, the five. Now we're going to go on to the double bobble. The gum there you go that's what it looks like you'll see it here i'm just gonna go straight in open up and actually it's in little bars like that look but again can't really see it but they're little bars so that's fair do a little bit of gum probably have to spit this out because it is gum like it is bubble gum after all um when i can get into it there it is i've got big hands mind you so a lot of this isn't on the packaging it's me having big hands so then, there you go. That's all it is. Right. So, I spat it out, not because it's not nice, but because it's bubblegum, I can't be keep eating it. The flavour is neat, it. it's got a lot of flavour to it, it's gum, and it does keep, and I didn't have it for that long, but the gum, the taste, it's just a bit hard to bite into at first, but other than that, I'm definitely going to be going to work on doing whatever with these, because they're really nice. Again, an eight. So, now on to our final few. About 20 minutes recording, this could be a good half an hour video. Who believes it? Nerves. This is one I'm not excited for. Just because there's loads of them. They're like millions. The UK viewers out there, these are honestly, I've put a picture up, they're literally little. Like I've got them all in my hand there, look. Right? Good truck around.
no, that's that's a one, that's a two. One, they're quite hard to say the little, and two, that flavour is sour. That's horrible. That is truly, truly. Uh, I'm not a bad fan of sour stuff, but that is not nice. Right. Finally, before we crack on with the final two items, Mike and I. Look, that packet looks sick. It's just fortunate it's actually green, which we'll see here. So yeah, those uh, nerds get a one. Right, Mike and Ike. I'm only going to take out two. I'm going to take out an orange and a strawberry. They're my favourite flavours. Okay. So as you can see here, I have a orange and I have a strawberry. Now, in my head, I saw Mike and Ike, and I thought the sweets are going to be those hard sweets, such as uh, nerd, such as lemon heads. Like, I thought those could be the small little hard sweets. They remind me of jelly babies or jelly beans here in the UK. And jelly beans, jelly beans, not babies, jelly beans are my favourite. They remind me a lot of them. These are probably the most tasty and also what I'd eat the most. These are a 10. My Can I Original Fruits are a 10. But with that being said, we've got two items left. I'm not excited for the last ones. So, we have a Jolly Rancher. So that's, again, up there is what a Jolly Rancher looks like. It's hard candy and it's a cherry one. So I will probably cut from me putting, eating this and then finishing off with it right because it's a hard sweet so let me get it out the wrapper first if i can that is because it is very difficult um very difficult very very difficult all my hands as well so i'm struggling to get the jolly ranch oh no 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 man i've got it i've got it it's just very sticky so i had trouble trying to get it that's all and no no jokes in the comments either about that because you are filthy all of you like the parts i'm getting off are very tasty i've got to say well it's so hard to in it out as wrap it do you want Yeah, well, I'm going to cut back for when I've eaten this. See you in two. Two thousand years later. That's a little bit. Got you. All right. So, I thought that, probably about five minutes or so. Um, that was tasty. It was hard. I, I definitely felt like I broke my tooth, but it was, it was. Yeah. Um, personally. If I had better teeth, I'd probably eat that. Uh, so, 7. I give the Jolly Ranch Cherry a 7. Now, on to the final, final thing for this whole video. We have Warhead's Extreme Sour Apple, Extreme Sour Lemon, and Extreme Sour Blue Raspberry. I'm going to tell you now, it's between apple and lemon for me. And if one doesn't get eaten today then i will put up a little short of meat and the other one put it in my discord put it on my twitch and all that good stuff i'm gonna go for the apple i think that's gonna be the most sour so again just above me here will be warheads extreme sour apple so you can see what it looks like i'm not ready for this i'll be honest i am truly 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 not ready for this because i can tell you now this is gonna make my face very funny that's the sweet there. Again, I'll show you. Ready? Three, two, I don't want to do this. One.
So I've still got it, as you can see. Why did nobody tell me it was this hour? Jesus. I've had to throw out. I couldn't do the sour. I could not do the sour. Oh, my eyes are watering because of it. That is strong. So, taste wise, obviously it's sour. I'll be honest, I probably never eat it again. Never. But, sourness wise, this gets a whole different rating. Sourness 10. I'm never touching that sweet again. That's a zero on taste. That's a zero on me wanting to ever have it again, which will be there. My god, that is disgusting. And it's still lingering in my mouth. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching a British or Englishman fries American candy. If you're British and you have not tried out any of these, I highly recommend it. Even just to try out the warheads, I highly recommend you to try out any of these that have been here. And again, just right now will be scattered with the products that I have tried out in America. Let me know in the comments down below. If you'd like to do American uh, drinks uh, or just anything or even like Chinese food or, you know, like um, Australian food, anything, any type of different country or nature, something like that, let me know in the comments down below. Until then, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and do all that good stuff. Until the next video, I'll see you later. Peace.